three. But he came in from the lower bracket and managed to wrestle his way back up through the ranks. That was Furious. Of course, the E.T. engine is based on the Quake engine. It is the Quake engine. So it does give him a little bit of an advantage. Then again, CSS, the Source engine, also based on the Quake engine. So maybe there's a little bit, th there's a thing going on there. The game is afoot. Ferris has managed to pick up the Mega and the Yellow. Butch, however, on the red. And he, oh, that's going to annoy him. That, that was too close. He does not manage to pick up the rail. He does not go through start and does not collect $200. And that is going to annoy him so much. Did not have enough speed. Oh, and there, is, and there is Ferris as well. Picks up the first kill with that shaft right on top of the red. As, uh, the yellow is about to go up. There is the mega. As, uh, Ferris is on his way. 200 health. Quick rocket coming in. As uh, Ferris once again using that high ground advantage. On towards Butch and raining down unleaded death straight upon his soul. So, Butch did show himself. The red is up. Ferris standing up on the top, wasting his ammo. Butch knows that he's there. Or is he? It's now a waiting game. There he is. Picks up the red. Nicely done. Picks up the mega as well. Butch does stand a good chance now to get back. And he did try to go for the for the rail, but didn't have enough momentum to actually get to the thing. Go for the rocket jump. Not gonna do it. Ferris right around the corner. There's Butch. Eight. Rock, quick rockets back and forth, and and that's the end of that ordeal. Making a score two to one. But you finally going for the inverted route towards the me towards the rail. And while Ferris is happily bouncing around, picking up item after item, and now his eyes has been focused on that red, and Butchie's not going to have anything of it. But well, he doesn't have much of a choice as uh, he does go down. A score is three to one. You can see the inverse. Oh, what a great rail! One, two doesn't hit. Both sides are just opting for those items. At this point, the best thing to, for Butchie to do is is to adapt, and he really needs to watch out that a rocket doesn't fly in from above. Oh, too lucky on that one. And needs to help. That is that's here. There's a 50 here. I think. No, it's just a 25. My apologies. Let's pick it up. Three to one. There's the other 25 I was talking about. And another one. Only has a yellow in his grasp. Well, Ferris picked up a mega as well as a red. One rocket in towards Butchie. Pushes him down. Oh, what a great rail. Picks up the kill. Four to one. Ferris still in the lead. Six minutes and 40 seconds to go on six. Like I said, classic map. Impressive. There's the second rail. <laughs> Ferris waiting for Butchie to show his face. He knows that items are going to spawn somewhere in the near future. The big problem is, which one is he going to go for? Two items will spawn at the same time. They're both up. Mega's up, and who's going to go for the red? Oh, Ferris could have gone for the red. He's actually going for the yellow. One, two, three. Bunny hops all over the place. Will he be fast enough? Oh, he will be. Picks it up on Butchie as well as the red. Just in time. That red was up in it for ages already, but the shaft proved to be a little bit too much for Butchie. Even though he had a lot of speed, he had a lot of momentum, it was not enough. There comes that shaft once again, raining in from above. But she can go nowhere. Ferris is just sitting there and saying, hi, give me that, please. Okay, thanks, bye. 6-1, picks up the Mega and the Red. Dominating so far on the M6. One.
two, three, and there we go. Picks up another kill, seven to one. Ferris doing it again. Let's see what, but what Butch is doing wrong at this stage. He does have to speed. Oh, what a great rocket once again, putting Butchie on almost no help whatsoever. Ferris comes in from above, rains down the lead, and engages him with extreme prejudice. But she needs to use his health and pray towards the god of DM to give him some help. Because at this point, I don't think there's much he can do. He should not chase. This is a bad idea. But she, you should. <laughs> as far as this isn't stand by there by the mega, like I said, a rail is too big. But it's just too much. The score is 9 to 1. As I'm being fed, apparently. Mega comes in. Score is 9 to 1. Ferris is being denied access towards the red. Let's go over to the yellow instead, he thinks. Rail in hand as well as rockets. Ooh, that would have been a nice follow up. It was not going to connect. Then again, he did have a lot of health and armor, Butchie. As at this point. Just needs to be careful. He's got three, four minutes to do something about his current status. Eight frags in that time frame is going to be a lot to ask for. So far, over a period of seven minutes, we've had ten frags. That means we would have to increase the ratio of frags per minute by a rather small factor. But the factor in a completely different direction. Ferris picks up another one, 10 to 1, with that shaft once more. Red picked up. It's not looking good for Butchie. We will be going on to 13. Actually, nope, we're going to go on to 7. That's 13. Will we, could potentially be the decider map. Butch once again, trying to pin down Ferris from above, raining in the fire. If he goes for that rail, he knows he's screwed because the splash damage in the wall from the rocket would be enough to take him down significantly. One, two. The rail comes in. There is the rail from Ferris, and Butch goes down once more. 11 to 1. The Supreme decides to go off on and offline. He would have been, most likely, in this actual final. Decided not to be. And that's his choice. There comes the rail again. Ferris. On towards Butchie. Boo, <laughs> Butchie needs to watch out. He was down to three health earlier. Ops for the down road. Would have been probably been better if he went from this one first. <sighs> Too close for comfort. I don't... Butchie is not exactly in a position to go in for the Mega. What are you doing, Butchie? That's not even going to spawn somewhere in the near future. What? Oh, great work. Being pushed all the way up in the ra in the air with the rail. Rail dancing galore. Nicely juggled. Takes him down once again. 12 to 1. And finally, Butchie managed to pick up a kill. But at what cost? So too little, far, far too late. His timing was off. His movement was slightly awkward. What can you do? One minute to go. In map number two of BO3, two as well. One minute warning. Actually, it's map number one, my apologies. And we'll be going on to seven, which but she happily won. So if that's any indication of what was going on, we should be going on towards a DM-13 final. As so we have a quick uh, technical issue here. We still have our fail up in the background. As Butcher just picks up the first kill. As that, there we go. The fail is down. And people can watch Quake again. As, uh, for those people who missed it, but she just managed to get the first kill, and after a very, very long delaying strategy, 
Finally managed to get the uh, the Mega up and running for him, which was good for him. However, Ferris in the meanwhile did manage to get all the armors in the map. And that could can be problematic in the long run, especially timing-wise for Butchy. Right now, the yellows, as well as the Mega, will all spawn at the same time. And that was probably the strategy that Butchie was going for. Hoping that they would spawn at approximately the same time. Giving both players the opportunity to go for completely different items. Both players on both sides of the map. As far as man, it's pick, pick up the uh, the mega. Which is the red. And the yellows are nicely in the in between. A lot of rockets rain down. Both players want that red badly. Ooh, just in time as uh, Butch decides to get the hell out of there and go towards the room, the Mega. He's not gonna have the opportunity to get it at this rate. Ooh, that is a risky strategy there. Although Butch would probably not dare to chase. As Ferris does manage to pick up the kill. Ooh, right on top of one another is uh, Butch. Range in the rockets and get pushed down. That means that Ferris will be able to get the uh, the Mega under control. And that is big trouble for him. Two to one now for Ferris. He was low on health. 50 picked up. We'll go for the Mega as well as the Red if he can't help it. Mega is right there. Ferris is already on standby. Comes in for the intercept. Very nicely done. Ferris picking up the kill. And he is doing good. He only needs to win one map. Basically. Now he needs to win the BO3. My apologies. In order to win. Yes, he does need to win this map in order to win. Set, heal you. Oh, what a great shot there by, by Ferris with that rail right off the back as he came down from the Mega. Rains down with that divine light and rocket. The grenades now coming as well. But you coming in for the red. For the red. As Ferris decides, you know what? I'm going to get the hell out of here as well again. And goes for the, uh, the, the Mega area. And there comes that rail again. Ferris is on fire. That... Rail keeps on hitting and hitting. The big problem with the rail is you can roll too, you can rely a little bit too much in it sometimes. You do need to balance out your your weapons. But you now trying to avoid the the plasma. Not doing good too good. Both sides once again wanting that mega. What puts you up to? Ooh, he does not have that much help remaining. And as I say, he goes down. Ferris kick, picks up the kill, six to one. Both sides with that yellow. The Mega comes up, very nice timing from Ferris and gets out of there just as well. And now the wait is on for the yeah, for the red. Ooh, Twitch. Could possibly go down unless he does something about it. Uh, 50 will do. Not much. More 25s are needed. He requires more Vespine gas. Five minute warning. So the game is halfway there. Ferris is leading with five. He's done some of the most crazy railing I've seen in this tournament. And even though the railing itself was not that crazy, this map is comparably like I like I said this is a community event only members of the of the crossfire community can join as far as picks up yet another kill Red just picked up. Mega comes in as well. Ferris goes in for the put a grab. Four minutes and 15 seconds to go. Here comes Butch trying to come in with the plasma. Rockets coming in. Butch will not ha won't have enough health. And that comes that rail once again. 
consistently hitting in the plasma now as well. As Ferris is getting more and more at his element. Not bad for a Counter-Strike player. Maybe, maybe just an element of a great player. They can dominate on multiple platforms. Which once again being pushed down. Ooh, he was a little bit too close. Rail Shaft's coming in. He really wants that Mega. And the water is standing in his mouth. But it won't be enough. Oh! As Butchie's rocket, it keeps on going after he dies and does take out Ferris. This they're both down to square one. Which just pick up a yellow. And Ferris did pick up some shards. That yellow's right there. Ooh, nice. That's one. Is he going to finish it up? No, he's not. The shaft is too much as Butch. Butch is now only six points behind with three minutes to go. If he can get two kills a minute, that's all he needs. The shaft comes out. The pressure is on. Ferris does pick him down, pick him off with the machine gun. Puts the yellow in his own hands and is out of there. But she opting for the mega. As Ferris has vacated the premises. Ooh, that was a little bit too close for comfort. But she has his area under control. It's, it's rather difficult for them. Currently, difficult to figure out who has the map control. I would go for Ferris, considering he does have the, a, a lot more of the kills. But he needs to backtrack. He needs to back off in towards the teleporter if he can. But ballsy enough, pushes forward with the shaft. And actually managed to pull it off. Ooh, that's one. One rail in the face. Goes in with the shotgun to boot. Ooh, double on the... Oh, that's a bad idea. Never, never jump after somebody on a jump pad. That's just absolutely asking for it right there. As uh, Ferris getting Butchie on the respawn, 11 to 4. A seven point difference with one minute and 42 seconds they are on the clock. I don't see this happening for Butchie anytime soon. But miracles can still happen. I don't see it happening. But I might as well. Two rocket. Butchie get out, gets out of there in time before. Ooh, nice. That's uh, 12 to 4. Good game being called by Butchie. Butchie goes for Say's uncle and leaves it for what it is and walks away with his hand, with, with, his, high, with his head pri in pr up in pride, knowing that he did all he could in his tournament. Even though he was seated second within the, uh, within the seatings. And Ferris, well, he was seated sixth as the Swede comes in and shows everybody how it's done. But remember, the German can go home with his, hell, with his head held up high because he will have that 500 euro worth of processor in his PC within a couple days. Good game by Ferris. That is it right there. So the last kills come in. Just to finish it off, we've got 15 seconds more regulation time and all that. We did ask the players to restart their matches because they went ahead and start to start the game without the admin's consent. Apparently they weren't very happy about it. But yeah, you got to always listen to your admin, so that's important. And so Ferris wins! Ferris wins the Crossfire Intel Challenge.